Open access is really simple. It's simply about making your research publicly available and not putting any barrier between the person who might want to access it and, and the research itself. I feel it's part of the ethos of the, of the scientific work that we do that all of our work should be made available for anyone to read. I mean, it really is a no-brainer. If you're going to be doing this research, why wouldn't you want people to read about it? Papers that I publish in open access, more people are reading, more people are getting in contact with me and saying, actually, you know, can I work with you? Or, you know, what do these results mean? The journals themselves are actually much less averse to open access than one might expect them to be. So most journals will have a gold open access option whereby um, you, know, you pay them a fee and they make their definitive version of the paper um, accessible freely. If they don't have that, then they will usually allow you to go down the green route, which means self-archiving, and that may be subject to an embargo, but there's not many journals that, that actually rule that out altogether. And so in those instances, we would place our manuscripts in the Leicester Research Archive so that they are openly available. And that's perhaps particularly important in the arts where there's less funding available and there's less of a tradition of paying for open access. So my advice to people who haven't yet fully engaged with open access is that it really is time to do so. For one thing, there's a tremendous benefits. It's obviously a way where you get your research and your discoveries and your ideas out there, which can lead to new collaborations, new grants, and so on and so forth. You absolutely have to have it for REF. It's one thing writing a great paper, getting accepted by a top journal and thinking, yes, that's going to be a core part of my REF submission. It's three star, it's four star, it's great as far as I'm concerned. People could be in for a nasty surprise in a few years if they haven't then very soon after submission, uh, after acceptance rather, ensured that their article has been made open access or at least taken steps as far as the journal will allow that. The benefits are really quite simple of open access. They increase the impact of the science that I do. I don't want to hide uh, what I do. I want people to find it useful and derive value from it. And open access really gears that.